Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this very special episode. We throw that around, but they're all special, uh, especially today because we find out who wins the uh, distinguished lady and her poodle, her pood, and the, the pood's distinguished as well. And as always, we find out who's going to win this through the miracle of the Mid Mod Money Prize Wheel. About 60 people uh, entered this contest, so you have a pretty good chance to win the Lady and the Poodle. All right, so let's get to what we found this week. Pretty good haul, an amazing 80s find at the end of this, which is going to be mind-blowing to some of you who remember that 80s decor. So, and it's getting very hot too. 1980s is coming around to be considered vintage, believe it or not. Wild, huh? Uh, first thing I found at a garage sale for $4, this awesome teapot. Great lines, great color, good shape. $4. I didn't even try to uh, dicker on the price. I didn't say, hey... Would you take $3? I didn't say that. I just said I'd pay the 4 bucks because I'm going to sell this for about $23. No chips, no cracks. Good color. I love those oranges, those greens, those yellows. As you know, speaking of good color, next thing I found also at a garage sale, different garage sale, this incredible mirror. But it's not just any mirror. This is made by Turner... Wall accessories. Familiarize yourself with the Turner wall accessories because these things, when you get into like the geometric shapes and the weird 60s, 70s, actually pretty much 70s, but they had some amazing high dollar mirrors that, that go for quite a bit of money. And uh, this one's not that, but it's worth, I paid three bucks for this and I think I'll probably ask $24. 25 bucks for the cool nautical themed uh, mirror. Now, I found this at a garage sale for, look at the price, 25 cents, a quarter for this Rubbermaid uh, Lazy Susan Flower Power, right? Dig it. I can dig it. He can dig it. She can dig it. This is a quarter, and believe it or not, these sell for about 22 bucks, 20 to 22 dollars. Uh, this is 20 dollars of pure profit. It's in really good shape, as you can see. A lot of these uh, had uh, pots and pans set on them, so they're ruined. This one's in great shape, and if you want something in the middle of your table, uh, lazy Susan wise, and you're looking for a vintage accent, that is a 20 dollar no brain purchase. Just pull the trigger. All right, next thing I found, my final uh, garage sale item. I found this. This is weird, huh? This was two bucks, two dollars for this odd pirate. He is a decanter. Head pops off there. Corks in good shape. He's in great shape. The paint is amazing on this. Uh, I'm gonna ask nineteen bucks for this uh, decanter, this pirate decanter. What does it say? Uh, says something, but it's definitely not a, uh, not a manufacturer. It's probably worth 20 bucks. I'm going to ask 19 and, uh, and get it. Someone who collects pirate stuff, uh, old weird bottles will buy that. All right. Next thing I found, and I've had something like this before. This is kind of psychedelic glaze, man. I'm having a weird time over here. This is four bucks. Um, not the greatest price. It's not a bad price either. This is a $22 item in my booth. But it's got the cool, like, drip glaze, little spotted glaze. Uh, this is definitely a homemade project. This urn with a lid. Purely decorative. You know, there's nothing practical to do with this. Uh, other than put it on a shelf somewhere as an accent piece. Good mid-century look. Uh, what do I think on this? I'm probably saying 22 bucks somewhere in there. All of this stuff is like, you know, $20 profit-ish. Uh, next thing I found, and I do very well, very well with glass sets. Now this one, the silver, yeah, you got the great Gatsby look. 
very 1960s. It's more of a Art Deco revival, definitely not older than the 60s. And the silver paint, still great. Nobody washed these in a dishwasher and ruined them because that happens a lot with gold and silver. Over time, they just, the paint, just, you lose the paint. These are in perfect condition. And like I said, I sell glass sets very well. I think I priced them reasonably. Like I'm going to price this at 26 bucks. They cost me six. I'll make 20 bucks off these glasses. I might even say 30 because they're pretty spectacular. Very Art Deco revival. Cool glasses. All right. Next thing I found was this. And we've had this before. Have we ever? What is that? Three dollars? Three bucks. It's upside down. But I'm trying to keep it in frame. This is monkey pod so some wood called monkey pod and if you don't believe me what does that say monkey pod uh honolulu i believe so this was a hawaiian import or you know probably a tourist thing i can't imagine putting this in your luggage but someone may have done that went to hawaii and said you know what i'm gonna put an array of mixed nuts in here uh this is a serving tray uh, hand carved good looking no chips no cracks you can oil this up and make it look even nicer i'm going to sell this for about 25 bucks i'll make 22 dollars off of this cool monkey pod serving tray 19 and 60s all right i don't want to leave anything out are we done we're done i'm going to get to the final thing that i found which is uh like i said i don't want to throw the word mind-blowing around but it is uh, my mind was blown when I found them. I found two, two hand-painted 1980s paintings. This is, this is oil on canvas, actual paintings. Where's the name? Right there. Know it. Lee Reynolds. Oh my God, we could talk for hours about Lee Reynolds, but I just want you to take in the scope of these giant paintings. These were $3 each, and they go together, and I know they go together because only one is signed by Lee Reynolds. These are in almost, I mean, these are in mint condition. There's Look at the back. These are for sure mid 80s early to mid 80s the pinks all the pastels that was the style uh lee reynolds uh, owned a studio called vanguard studios in los angeles and very controversial because this is considered factory art and what that means is the person named lee reynolds probably didn't even paint this they just had their name signed to it and had apprentices go down an assembly line and do these paintings. And they were sold to places like Sears and J.C. Penney's. They are actual paintings. They're actually fantastic. Some of them are very well done, well executed, but they're considered to be more like home decor. Even though they were done by an actual artist, they are considered to be kind of like, you know, tacky art, mass-produced art. And it was mass-produced. But not a lot survived that are this large and this glorious. So, if you're looking for that 80s look, if you want to go back and put this on your wall and uh, put on your Go-Go's album or your Flock of Seagulls record, this would fit right in. And I'm going to ask 199 bucks for the pair. And I think that's cheap. I think that's a steal. Considering that the 80s are coming back, two hundo will get you these two huge original artworks, Lee Reynolds. And uh, side note, if you ever see a painting that says Reynolds or Lee or uh, Burr, it was Lee Burr Reynolds. Actually, Lee Reynolds only really painted about 170 paintings in their whole life. And the only ones that Lee Reynolds did themselves was Lee Burr Reynolds. So you'll see Lee, you'll see Reynolds, you'll see Burr. 
But uh, keep an eye out for those because Vanguard Studios, those do sell. All right, we're down to our giveaway. And I am, I'm looking for it. Is this it? Oh, geez, no. There it is. <laughs> this is my first week with my own computer, everybody. I got a new computer, a dedicated mid-mod money computer. All right, are we ready for this? Are we ready to see who wins the lady and her poodle? I think so. Let's do this. Joan Yeager, 53. Joan, actual Facebook person that I know. Holy smokes. You are the winner of the, one of my supporters on Facebook who, who comments on videos and uh, she's won the poodle. Congratulations, Joan. Uh, I think she's from Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. But, uh, so, that's it. Thanks for watching Mid Mod Money. You guys are uh, always a support. Appreciate you watching and remember to always round up.